Let's get right into it. We'll begin by selecting the desired category. We will select the spheres for starters. And let's select the spherical wedge. As seen by the instructions along the top, we must enter both inputs. We will enter a radius of 2 and an angle of 90 degrees. Notice that the calculation was performed as soon as we entered the required number of inputs. We may want to use radians rather than degrees. This is easy to do. Press the degrees icon. To add the current volume result to the running total, tap the sigma icon. Press add. Note that the multiple shapes can be added and subtracted from this running total. To subtract the volume from the total, press subtract. To clear the running total, press clear. To exit, press close. To select units, tap the units icon. Select feet and inches and cubic feet. Because the tick mark is not being used in the input box, the program is assuming inches. Let's change the top box to 2 feet 6 inches. Other units and shapes work the same way. To return to the list of shapes, click the shapes icon. Now let's select the segment of a cylinder. Select the cylinder's category. And let's select the cylinder segment. This time we are instructed to enter H plus any two inputs. We will enter a radius of 7 first, then 8 for the fill height, and 11 for the cylinder height. Another feature seen here is the calculation of all the other parameters in addition to the volume and surface area. Watch how easy it is to enter another set of parameters. While you are using volume calculator, look for the latest notifications relevant to this application or our other useful product releases. What's more, if you come up with any ideas or suggestions, you can leave us feedback directly from the info screen. Pressing send will submit your rating and comment to us immediately. The App Store icon is for those who desire to write us a review at the App Store. And thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.